going to see today at the World Bird Sanctuary. We're going to see four different kinds of my favorite bird. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but they are Lolly's Place mascot. So enjoy um, our field trip at the World Bird Sanctuary, and thanks for joining us. Why does the barn owl have a heart on its face? This type of owl has a sound capturing facial disc. Their ears are asymmetrically placed, so sounds are heard above and below at the same time. Hello, my name is Erin, and I am a naturalist here at World Bird Sanctuary, and I am here with Taryn and Pearl, the British barn owl, who's gonna be a, a representative of barn owls today even here in the Americas. And uh, Pearl being a British barn owl, she is slightly different than the American barn owls that you do find over here. She's gonna be a lot paler in coloration and she also is going to be a lot smaller than the American species that you will find here. But barn owls are found all throughout the world except for Antarctica. And you're not gonna find them there because their food source is not gonna be there. So these guys are excellent rodent hunters. They can eat up to 1,500 rodents in a single year, and barn owl pairs can lay up to 14 eggs at a single time, leading to a very large and very hungry family of barn owls. Now, farmers will encourage barn owls to nest in boxes and in their barns in order to help curb those mice and rat populations, but unfortunately, barn owls are threatened in the states due to habitat loss and pesticide use. And so what happens is people will use rodent poison, rodenticide, to help cut down on those mice and rats that make it into their homes. But unfortunately, it doesn't just kill those mice or rats. These guys being excellent rodent hunters, when they do catch that slow and sluggish rat or mouse that has been poisoned, it's easier for them to catch and then they take it back to their nest to feed their family. And unfortunately, this poisons the entire nest. And so here at World Bird Sanctuary, we do ask people to not use rodenticides and instead use live traps or snap traps. Now, what I'm going to talk about with Pearl here is Barn Owl's excellent hearing. These guys are well known for being able to capture their prey just based off of hearing alone. They actually did a study where they stuck a Barn Owl in a completely dark room and the barn owls were able to capture their prey just based off of their hearing alone. And that's because, as you can see on Pearl here, she's gonna have that sound capturing facial disc made of stiff, bristly feathers that help to funnel sound waves into her ears, which are placed underneath her feathers. And they will have one that is a little bit up higher than the other one and one that's a little bit down lower. And that's what's called asymmetrical. And so these Ears are going to be placed asymmetrically and that way they can hear their prey from above and below at the same time. And some owls even have one of their ears cupped a little bit forward and one cupped a little bit backwards. That way that they can have that surround sound hearing. And these guys have such excellent hearing that they're able to hear the pitter patter of mice feet from over 90 feet away. And they can hear the rustling of the mice underneath those leaves and be able to find them and catch them. And by having that silent flight that Taryn talked about earlier with their feathers uh, being those soft feathery fringes, Pearl is doing a great demonstration right there. With that soft feathery fringes that gives them that silent flight, it also allows them to be able to hear their prey easier because they don't have to hear over their own wing flapping. Well, thank you, Pearl and Taryn, for joining us today. And thank you guys for learning more about barn owls and what makes them special and how we can help them. What do those big eyes help with? Large eyes help with nighttime hunting. Certain owl species can see up to four football fields away. Hello again, and welcome back. My name is Erin, and we have Taryn here, and she has brought Freya, who is a great horned owl. She is our special guest here today. You guys might recognize this as a very common owl found here in North America. They are very widely distributed and very common. And they get their name for those feather tufts or plumicorns on top of their heads that look sort of like they have horns on them. And as Taryn mentioned earlier, again, that's gonna be for camouflage and communication. And that's why she has those feathers on top of her head. Now, great horn owls are known uh, for their 
cuckoo sound that they will make and the males and females will call back to each other and talk to each other but the females you can tell the difference between them from the males with their calls is that their calls are going to be a little bit higher pitched than the males are. Now what we're going to talk about with Freya here today is those big beautiful yellow eyes that she has on her. So those eyes are very large, they act like a window, and the larger the window, the more light it lets in. And so her eyes take up about two thirds of the space inside of her head, which if you do the math, it does not leave a whole lot of room in there for something very important, like her brain. You might have heard a lot of stories about the wise old owl, but I hate to break it to you, they're not necessarily true. They're very good at what they do out in their natural habitat. They're very excellent hunters, especially great horned owls. They're very good at capturing their prey, and they'll go after almost anything, even skunks. They'll try for possums, and sometimes even porcupines, and even other birds of prey, like hawks and other smaller owls. Now those large eyes, it doesn't leave a lot of room in there for their brain, but it also doesn't leave a lot of room in there for something else as well. And that is the muscles used to control their eyes. So we are able to move our eyes up and down and left and right, all without having to move our head. Well, these guys, if they wanna look around, as you can see on Freya here, she has to turn her head in order to look around. And that she is able to do because she has 14 vertebrae or neck bones that allow her to have that larger range of motion. And so she is able to turn her head about 270 degrees or about three fourths of the way around. She cannot turn it all the way around. And I like to joke, she could only do that once. <laughs> now we can move our heads not as far as them and that is because we only have seven vertebrae or neck bones, just as many as any other mammal found on the planet. And these guys, by turning their heads in order to look around, it does help them to be able to keep quiet and keep a lookout for their prey. They don't have to lift up their feet and shuffle them when they are looking around for prey and other predators. Now those big, large eyes that you see on her, they actually are sort of shaped like a light bulb. And the part that you're seeing on her is actually the smaller end of the light bulb that screws into the socket. And the part that is inside of her head is the bigger part that lights up. Now again, that big eyes allow her to see with very little light that is available out there because these guys are gonna be nocturnal hunters. They're gonna be hunting during the nighttime when there's not much light available to them. There are other owls that are what's called crepuscular and they will hunt in the late evenings and early mornings at dawn and dusk, again, when there's not a lot of light available to them. Now owls with those big large eyes, they can see by the light of one candlestick placed four football fields away on a totally dark night. So that's very impressive, much better than we can. I can't even see my hand in front of my face when I go out the door at nighttime. So these guys are excellent hunters and especially great horned owls, they have proven themselves to be one of the top tier hunters out there in the world. Well, thank you guys for coming and joining us, learning about Freya and how cool great horned owls are and how they are able to see in very low light conditions. <laughs>